So monsoon has officially started. Last year, though, was one of the hottest and driest. Meteorologist Lindsay Riley takes a look what we could expect this summer and how it could compare to the past. The monsoon generates about one third of our annual rainfall in the valley, but the last two seasons have been very dry and dusty. Monsoon 2023 and 2024 landed us in the top 10 driest ever. It was also the first time we had under one inch of rain for two consecutive monsoon seasons. But as we know, one season can vary greatly to the next. And this year, we have a 40 to 50% chance to see above average precipitation. The reason? Our soil moisture content is below average after coming off of a dry winter and spring. These dry conditions will allow the heat to build substantially during the early weeks of the monsoon. As the high heat builds, the thermal low over the Baja Peninsula will strengthen, and this will usher in more atmospheric moisture and humidity so our summer storms can thrive. Whether it's a wet or dry monsoon, notable weather can happen at any time. Here's a look back to a few in recent years. 2024 was more of a non-soon, but August 22nd was a day to remember. Afternoon thunderstorms showed their fury over Arcadia and Scottsdale and produced flooding, high winds, and hail. We're actually hiding underneath a bus stop right now, trying to get cover from this hail. The hail was coming down for the past 15 minutes. And if you happen to be underneath one of these storms, you're looking at 60 mile per hour gusts. Monsoon 2014 is the only summer in the 21st century that landed in the top 10 wettest monsoons. On September 8th, morning thunderstorms coupled with moisture from Hurricane Norbert generated the wettest single day on record at Sky Harbor with 3.3 inches of rain. But there were parts of the valley that picked up over five inches that same day. The scenes of water submerging the highways have become iconic, and this storm is considered the storm of the century for the valley to this day. We're right in the middle of this dust storm. It's still going strong. These stop signs are just about to snap over. You can see how much they're shaking around in this violent wind. On July 5th, 2011, Phoenix made national news for this iconic dust storm. The wall of dust originated in Tucson and traveled more than 150 miles to Phoenix and reached nearly 6,000 feet tall. 